Hello everyone. Continuation to the previous session. Today we will discuss about the installation of operating system. How many types of installations? We have three types of installations. First one is the new and complete override. In this method, we install the AX on the new machines or completely overrides any bus versions that previously exist. What about in migration? Migration means we are going to migrate current operating system to the new version of the AX operating system. In this process, it prevents the most of the file systems including root volume group, logical volumes and the system configuration files. It overrides the slash TMP directory. The last one is the preservation method. In this method replaces an earlier version of the bus but retains the root volume group. The user created logical volumes such as slash home file systems. Uh, the file systems slash USR slash USR where TMP and OPT and slash these are file systems to be overwritten any file systems user defined that is other than the these file systems those file systems are preserved any configuration user configuration those files are in these file systems will be lost see here the differences installation step among this all the methods so here the root volume is created in the new and complete override it will create as a uh, uh, slash usr where is created here and here and create home directory here save configuration here restore so everything details here here let's see so this is the installation process after we insert the cd and boot boot from the cd so we get the the screen here we press one so press one for english here in this step we will see the start installation with the default setting change or show the installation start maintenance for recovery here uh, that start third step is important when we reset the root password make additional disk available we can see any disks is available see, select the storage also so how many storage adapters are there so we can select here here for example choose two here we can see the more information additional softwares more options for additional softwares press 4 so here the graphical use softwares uh, system manage client open ssh here i'm going to enable 3 and 4 ssh let's see if we press 3 it automatically convert no to s press 4 yes now i am going to install the operating system then go back so the installation process is started so after installation it will reboot the system now we are going to select the terminal here we are going to take vt100 after that it will accept the license here choose yes then press ok installation is completed now we are going to change the date and time date and time and the root password whatever you need after that task completed then login
for example if operating system is working fine we forgot the root password how to reset the root password same processor enter the cd then boot from the cd press one for console here choose the language here press 3 start maintenance mode for the recovery so here choose the root volume 0 to continue choose the volume group where the root volume is exist so here it will show the all the file systems so here we have both options access the root volume group and start the cells start the shell so choose the one to reset the password so all the file systems are mounted here let's see so you can see there so enter the password root then we can change after that reboot the operating system